Good morning, friends. I am back from vacation and we are going to be um, printing from the garden today. And this is our finished piece a little bit. I've got a little bit more detail work to do, but I will do that with you. These are poppies and um, I went on vacation last week and I came home and my garden was overgrown. And at first I thought, we're gonna use a lot of okra prints, but I didn't really like um, how it was so round. Let me show you. You know, all the prints were the same wagon wheel. I couldn't really, you know, vary them. I tried cutting, um, but it just wasn't working. So what I did is, we have a lot of banana peppers growing and you could do this with, um, I guess you could do it with jalapeno, just be super, super careful. These are, I guess they're cayenne peppers. We have some of those too. Um, so what I did, and I'm doing this in the kitchen today <laughs> because I've already made a huge mess. I took this banana pepper and let me find my trusty knife because I don't know what to do with it. I'll get another one. Now, See, if you notice, the peppers in the foreground, or the, the poppies, are larger than the ones in the background. So, I saved the pepper pieces. So, I'm going to cut this one probably about right here. And I have a nice, you know, pretty flat cut. You can, you can actually see that little moisture right there. Don't worry about the seeds, they're fine. Um, I'm also going to use a little ant from the garden. I'm also going to use um, a smaller section. And I think I'm just going to show you which one I used for my smaller one. This pepper, this pepper right here, right here, was more, it was skinnier towards the end. So that's what I printed with. So I kind of just cut that off. And we're also going to use this butt end right here to actually paint the yellow because this is all very light and airy. You see a lot of white. At first, I thought it would be a good idea to paint the background and then put the poppies. But I wanted that rich red coming through. And I like the white because it is a print and you, you know, you don't want it to look, if it's a print, you want it to look like it's been printed. So, the first thing I did was, we're going to start on this clean piece of paper right on the cutting board. The first thing I did was I used some red, that's just like a medium yellow and some white. And I'm going to mix a little bit. And I'm stamping, stamping, stamping. See how that gets good and you can even put in a little yellow if you want to, just to give it a little variety. Now, I'm going to start with my background first. And when I print these, just press, I kind of turn them a little bit so it makes a center. Now, I call it inking, print it up again. And it could be any which way. You could have some going off, off your page. That's fine. You could just do, um, you know, like two or, you know, kind of three cockeyed. So you're getting some little ones in the background first. Maybe a couple right here. Alrighty, you could do four. Doesn't matter. The next one we're gonna use is this larger one. Let's see if this one will work. This one, let's see, where'd my big one go? This is the one I use. You can see how different they are. I'll print one with this one and then I'll go to this wider, wider one here and see what we get. I know what this one's gonna do. So if I come in here and print and rotate, see how I'm rotating and it's getting that little center? All right, there's that one. Let's try this big mama here. And sometimes you have to rock it a little bit because your um, cut might not be even. So this is a smaller area. I'm gonna use that for kind of my center. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I like it. Mm, maybe. Mm, kinda looks like little butts. I think I'm gonna go back to this one which is fine. Now, I did some and I wanted them to look like they were overlapping, but I didn't just want to keep printing on top of them. 
So I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna do a little masking technique. And while I'm here on the edge, go ahead, print some going off the edge. Okay, so if I wanted that big mama in the front, I could take a piece of paper, let me grab one. You know, or a little post-it note works great. You cover up what you don't want printed. So look, take it off and now that one's behind it and you're probably gonna get some red on it, it's okay. All right, so we're gonna print. Let's cover up, let's cover up this guy right here and put that one behind it. I get my hands working this morning, oh, kinda. Getting some seeds. <laughs> That'll work. All right, so you get the idea. Uh, let's see. Sometimes you can just manipulate it a little bit. Eh, oh well. Anyway, you get the idea. So you're going to print. That's your very first step. Print, print, print. The next step, uh, I did a wash on the inside of these. And when I mean a wash, I just really, really water down a tiny bit of red paint. I didn't want them solid because I wanted them, you know, kind of airy looking. I wanted those little bits of white. So I've got water in my little cup right here and I'm really watering down. And I'm just gonna kinda go in and scribble and move some of this paint here and there. But I'm not filling it all the way in. You know, you're, you're giving your mind's eye a chance to read this and be like, oh, it's a puppy. It's not an apple. And just fill it. And some of them could be darker. You know, some of them could be lighter. But just this big mama, I'm not so sure about this thing. I might have to be our little focal point right here. I'm just not filling in. You could even do this with your non-dominant hand. Just want to make sure it gets really sketchy. Okay, because, like I said, this is a print. And I guess you could call these, you know, kind of abstract poppies. It's just another technique of using something that you might have in your house, in your garden, fun to do with the kiddos as well. Um, I'm always a vegetable printing. Okay, so once you get that section finished, now we're gonna really poppy them and make them look like a poppy. So I took oh, another ant in here. I think my garden has brought in some uh, hitchhikers. I actually used, I think I used okra for my tip. I said we were printing all peppers. I kind of told the story there. I took this okra right here and I used the tip and I put it in some black and I just kind of, not perfect circle, just kind of made the idea of the center of the puppy. And these could be kind of on their side back there. My poppies might be reaching for the sun we don't see the whole thing. Uh, where are we going to put you? I'll put you in here. You could do this with the little butt end of the pepper too. But this was just like a great pencil, okra pencil here. So that's what I used. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now they're starting to look like poppies. The next thing I did, I will tell you, I got out this morning and I plucked I plucked some liriope grass out of the flower beds, and I thought, oh, I'll paint on that and stamp it, stamp it, stamp it. Um, I liked it. It was okay. I found that I, if you paint on the back, that's a lot better. You could use this to make your, um, to make some stems, okay? But since we're doing peppers today, I thought, what better way than a jalapeno. Now, this skin is bumpy, okay? So it's going to print. It's going to lend itself to that little um, textural bumpy bumpiness. That's, that's what I'm call it. So I'm going to grab, I had some um, limey green and blue on my palette this morning. 
I'm gonna squirt out a little bright green now. And I did put a little splatter on my finished one. Let's see here. All right, so let's scoot you over here a little bit. Here is our paint mixture mess. Now, I'm getting this kind of goopy. All right, you see it? This one is curving, right? So you might not want them curved, I don't know. But you can just start going in. And, you know, I got some of that blue just to give it a little variety. A little too much blue right there, I didn't mix. I'm gonna find my other pepper I used. This one's, I don't know if I like the curly. My curly, oh, here it is. You can say this is the one I used earlier. So we're gonna go back to him. All right, so we're just gonna come in. You can twist it. And of course, you're going to get messy. Don't you always get messy with me. And go off the page, okay? Roll it. I like how when you're stamping it, you notice I'm not putting it into the paint every single time. I like those little ghost prints in the background. You can stamp on top of some of your poppies because the oops kicked you. You're okay. Because that's how they grow in the wild. I think they're cool. I got that little glob of blue in there. Let's see if we can thin him out. Of course, earlier I looked like I was working at a slaughterhouse because I had red everywhere. I got my microphone in the red. I got my, <laughs> you name it, my shirt is covered in red. I'm not a clean person. Okay, so once you feel like, and I love the variety of green, you see that? See how I'm putting the darker in now? And maybe more dark towards the background because as your eye, as it goes to the, goes further away, it's gonna be darker. Things up close might be bright. You might get a little shadowing of your grasses or your stems underneath your poppy heads. Okay, so now I have this. Look at that, that is so cool. I love it, I love it. And I have green hands, so I'm gonna wipe them on my shirt, of course. Now, I said we were going to be using um, the butt for the yellow. Now, you don't have to do that at all. My other thought would be to put like a periwinkle sky in. I'm gonna do that. This butt, this little smidgerin, if that's a word, of sky was dabbed with the little butt end of the pepper. So we're gonna try the periwinkle. This is actually cobalt blue. I'm gonna squeeze out some. It's probably gonna squeeze all over me. My luck today. I'll show you the okra prints too in a minute. All right, so let me find, my husband's gonna come home and be like, where are my peppers? All right, so I just used this because it was very manageable and I could just kind of dip and dab where I wanted it. My other one was a little bit flatter. But do you see how, oh, I, I really like this blue. Do you see how the airiness of your poppies, because they have the white in them, works with the airiness of this background now? And if you don't like this pepper, get yourself another one. I, I literally took it and scribbled it. You can't really see it as well because the yellow is a much uh, lighter tonal value here. But you can come in here. I like this blue a lot. I think this looks really good. But you get the idea of working it. You know, you don't want to just put it like a little kid. You know, the blue sky at the top. Um, your sky is going to peek through throughout this field, your abstract field. Now, if you wanted to do this with a brush, you could, but this was my whole garden theme of poppy peppers. Oh, I really like that. I think that's so cool. And a white frame. Oh, lovely. Look at these hands. Okay, so you got your sky. I actually did go back and 
I did a little splatter on this one. You can see there's a little bit just down here. Just give it a little oomph. I think I'm gonna splatter this with a little of that cobalt blue, just for fun. So I'm gonna get a, a brush a brush. I'm gonna get this kind of wet here. Oh yeah, just, I don't know. It just, I just like it. It just kind of brings it together, all right? So there you go, splatter, splatter. Now, you're not actually, you could be finished at this point. Totally could. I love that. Look at that. Oh, so cool. So cool. Okay. But I put this one literally in the oven to dry it. And I went back. I started with my Sharpie. See those little wiggly lines around those poppies? I started with my Sharpie. And I just kind of gave them a little bit of definition. You know, you could put the little lines. And it's just kind of about going around them. You know, you know, your mind knows what this is. Totally. You can still see, yep. But, and you can do this with your non-dominant hand so it's not all pretty and proper because we want to keep this light and not tight. You know, you can't you can't take something that's so light and airy now and and go around the edges like a, you know, a coloring book line. Okay? You could even go back with some white. Let's see if this baby's going to work today. Let's see. Nope, that one's not. Mhm. Mm my well, markers were on a break last week, too. Okay, I think this one does work. You could even go back and, you know, wiggle a little. Hmm, that's not really working too good. You could even wiggle a little white. I need some new markers. On. <laughs> well, maybe not. But you get the idea. You could even put little highlights, you know, here and there throughout this piece. Um, I think this looks so amazing, like on a t-shirt or something. It's just cool. Poppies, poppies, poppies. Um, so let me show you the okra. Uh, we had okra that was about this big, like huge, in our garden when we got back. And I've been cutting it up to save it and put it in the freezer. But this okra was very, very hard. And... If you're an okra eater and your okra gets really, really hard, it's not good. So what I did was I just cut, okay? I did go and pick out these seeds, or you could leave them. That would give it another look. And I was careful not to hurt, not to damage the spoke. I call it the wagon wheel here um, because that'll give it a different look. You could damage it and make your own okra identity here. All right, let's see. I don't have my glasses on. I think I got one more seed right here. I'll pop out. Come on. Oh, picking teeth. Okay, so now you see that nice wagon wheel. So like I said, I started doing this, but I did not like it. Um, you know, I started printing with the liriope grass first. And actually, I was like smacking the paper with it. So let's just say we take a pepper and we do the pepper smacks. That I like. Pepper smack, pepper smack, whatever. You could do this on a small scale. You can make like little gift tags or greeting cards because that's a hot mess right there. And here is my okra. And I'm just going to dab it in some paint. And what do, oh, that's my... Mm. But you see how this, it's just so upright. It's so, uh, I don't know. It's more kid-like. It's cute. It's happy. Um, you know, you could do, you could actually do hydrangeas this way by printing and printing. Look at that. Mm, discovered something new. All right, let's get some blue and some white. Now we're making hydrangeas. Now that's cool. I love art. It just goes from one extremity <laughs> to another. Check it out. 
not one, but a bunch. See, there you go. This is fun to print with, and I'm gonna take it for my to my kids at school. Hopefully I'll still have some. Um, not that our colors are very pretty for our um, hydrangeas, but this is nice. It's easy to grasp. Uh, so there you go, okra hydrangeas, poppy peppers. I love it. Uh, this could be a whole abstract painting. I mean, not abstract, but you could go around, you know, and do something kind of totally, um, it could be huge. It'd be kind of neat to do like an okra print in the center and then pepper prints all around. Um, go to another vegetable, you know, a carrot or a green pepper and go around. Be that kind of neat. Or just do prints, you know, all over the page. Kind of an abstract kitchen, kitchen um, artwork piece. So there you have it, friends. We painted with peppers, we did poppies, and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, Printmaking is so much fun. You can even get a, um, you could do white paper, kind of like butcher paper, or get some, um, it's not the real, real heavy paper from Lowe's or Home Depot, and print on them and make your own wrapping paper. I've done that several years for Christmas. But have fun. I hope you have a garden or your friends have a garden um, that you can go and pilfer from for painting supplies. Have a great one, guys. See you tomorrow. I mean, uh, whatever. Whatever day it is. <laughs> I'm still on vacation mood. Bye, guys.